Today guys, I just thought I'd follow on for my candy cane video just to give you a bit of an idea how I go about uh, testing the current draw of my uh, pixels to, uh, just to check the loads, making sure I'm not overpowering uh, my circuits or anything. There's lots of stories getting around about how many pixels you can run and what you should do and shouldn't do. Hey, I'm not an expert in this or anything, I'm not an electrical engineer or anything. Um, I just know this is what I'm doing, it seems to be working. Um, so I just thought I'd share with you what I'm doing. So just following, I'm just we're just going to be talking about um, three of my candy canes that I've got here at the moment. So each one of these candy canes has got 48 pixels in it. They're 12 volt. Uh, what are they? Ws 2811 pixel nodes. Uh, I've got some cables running to them. I think they're three meter cables, something like that. Um, I think it's a pretty typical setup uh, for something like this. So I might give some people a bit of an idea. What to expect um, now i'm just running a sequence through x lights that's just a, a white uh, fades up to a full white now i do have the brightness adjusted to 50 percent through my falcon pixel controller um, that's the maximum i'm going to be running my display at i'm probably even going to drop it down to probably 30 percent because they're really really bright um, but i thought oh well if i testing out 50% that's the maximum I'm going to be running these props at uh, well, I'm going to be well within um, some safety margins so how I go about it is I've as I said there's three three candy canes 48 pixel nodes in a string so to speak I've got the output from my pixel controller it's just a dif differential receiver board inside this box I'm utilising just here, it's a called Eternity uh, Watt Meter. Um, I had it from when I was playing around with RC cars and aeroplanes, etc. Uh, it's just an inline amp gauge, essentially. Um, I do have a multimeter, which I've used, and I've checked the... I've used my fluke meter to check... Uh, one of these cheap Eternity meters, and it's, it's pretty close, I think, for the margin of error that we're talking about in this hobby. I think these things are a nice, quick, easy tester as well. So, this is just in line, in series, just an input to, in, into the little Eternity uh, tester. Now, these things are meant to be rated at 130 amps. Um, not sure about that, but we're not going to be getting anywhere near that. And I've just put some uh, pigtails, some pigtails on there. So this one here goes on the pixel controller through my amp gauge into the first node on the strings, all the way through into the second candy cane, into the third one. Now I've disconnected the power injection cable to this one, just so you give you guys an idea what. 144 pixel nodes are, are drawing on a full white at 50% through your pixel control. Now this is ramping up. Uh, so what's the maximum we're going to see there? What, 3.47 amps or something? Uh, what have we got there? 3.3 and a half amps. Um, so it's below 4 if I could probably get away without power injecting on these things. So anyway, that's the little Turnigy uh, meter I'm using. Uh, and that's the one. I have experienced from running 144 12-volt pixel nodes. Um, I'm just going to pause this video and I'll show you another um, thing we can use this little tester for. So this is just following on from the um, current draw I'm showing you. So now this is the same sequence, no power injection. This is a, the last um, candy cane in the series and there's no obvious uh, pinking Turning red colouring of the uh, on the pixels, so it's uh, going nice and white. As I said these are only running at 50% uh, brightness for the pixel controller. Okay, so another quick, I suppose, tip. Um, one of the benefits I like of of the uh, pixel control this that little turn you meter. Now I've plugged this into the end of the string where it would normally power inject. Um, and as we can see, the voltage is dropping right down when it comes up to full. So it's 7. Point, I think the lowest it gets is 7.8 volts or something. 9, 
coming up here, 7.9 volts. Uh, so it is really starting to push the limits, I think. So I would be, I feel a lot happier with power injection and I've, I've planned for that in my setup. But it just gives you an idea. Like I said, I've just plugged the little tester in um, to see what's going on. Okay. Uh, I suppose one of the other benefits of just using one that like a little dedicated tester is you can just plug it straight in. I've just made a little adapter to it with a couple of Ray Wu plugs, uh, which I'm using. Pigtails. Uh, so I'm trying to pass it around with, uh, with your multimeter or anything like that. I can just plug it in exactly to see what's going on. Alright guys, any questions? Uh, shoot a comment. Oh, actually, what I might do is just show you what the output is in a second uh, with the uh, power injection setup. Okay, back in a second. So here we go, um, just showing the current draw of my setup. Um, it's again, it's 144 uh, pixels uh, with power injection. Yeah, it's a bit of a funny test, I suppose. Um, wiring his pixel controller into my tester, my, my multimeter so to speak, um, into the first handy cane, wiring from the second one, third one, and then we have power ejection on that on the on the third one there. Um, there's no noticeable differences I don't think to the to the colours. Uh, still coming on nice and bright and white. Um, anyway that's what I'm doing. Okay guys, see ya.